Marcus, Mark, 14. After two days was the feast of the Pekach and of Matzah, and the chief priests and the scribes sought how they might take him by craft and put him to death. But they said, Not on the feast today, lest there be an uproar of the people. And being in Bethany in the house of Shimon, the jar maker, as he sat to eat, there came a woman having an alabaster box of ointment, of spikenard, very precious. And she broke the box and poured it on his head. And there were some that had indignation within themselves and said, Why was this waste of the ointment made? For it might have been sold for more than three hundred pence and have been given to the poor. And they murmured against her. And Yahusha said, Let her alone. Why trouble ye her? She has wrought a good work on me. For ye have the poor with you always, and whensoever ye will, ye may do them good. But me ye have not always. As she has done what she could, she has come aforehand to anoint my body to the burying. Amen, I say unto you, wheresoever this Besara shall be preached throughout the whole world, this also that she has done shall be spoken of for a memorial of her. And Yahuda is Kriat. One of the twelve went unto the chief priests to betray him unto them. And when they heard it, they were glad and promised to give him money. And he sought how he might conveniently betray him. And at the beginning of the daylight hours of the Pihach week, when they killed the Pihach, his Talmudim said to him, Where will you that we should go to prepare that we may eat the peacock. And he sent forth two of his Talmudim, and said unto them, Go ye into the city, and there shall meet you a man bearing a pitcher of water. Follow him. And wheresoever he shall go in, Say ye to the good man of the house. The rabbi says, Where is the guest chamber, where I shall eat at the pikach with my Talmudim? And he will show you a large upper room, furnished and prepared. There make ready for us. And his Talmudim went forth, and came into the city, and found as he had said unto them, and they made ready the pikach. And in the evening he came with the twelve. And as they sat and did eat, Yahusha said, Amen, I say unto you, One of you which eats with me shall betray me. And they began to be sorrowful, and to say unto him one by one, Is it I? And another said, Is it I? And he answered and said unto them, It is one of the twelve that dips with me in the dish. And rather, the son of Adam indeed goes, as it is written of him. But woe to that man by whom the son of Adam is betrayed! Good word for that man if he had never been born. And as they did eat, Yahusha took bread and blessed and broke it and gave to them and said, Take, eat, this is my body. <clears throat> and he took the cup. And when he had given thanks, he gave it to them. And they all drank of it. And he said unto them, This is my blood of the renewed covenant, which is shed for many. Amen, I say unto you, I will drink no more of the fruit of the vine until that day that I drink it anew in the kingdom of Yahweh. And when they had sung us a hymn, they went out into the Mount of Olives, 
And Yahusha said unto them, All ye shall be offended because of me this night. For it is written, I will smite Eth the shepherd, and the sheep shall be scattered. But after that I am risen. I will go before you into Galil. But Kepha said unto him, Although all shall be offended, yet will I not, rather will not I. And Yahusha said unto him, Amen, I say unto you, that this day, even in this night, before the cock crow twice, you shall deny me thrice. But he spoke the more vehemently, If I should die with you, I will not deny you in any wise. Likewise also said they all. And they came to a place which was named Gethsemane. And he said to his Talmudim, Sit ye here while I shall pray. And he took with him Kepha and Yaakov and Yahuchanan and began to be sore amazed and to be very heavy and said unto them, My soul is exceedingly sorrowful unto death. Tarry ye here and watch. And he went forward a little and fell on the ground and prayed that, if it were possible, the hour might pass from him. And he said, Abba, Father, all things are possible unto you. Take away this cup from me. Nevertheless, not what I will, but what you will. And he came and found them sleeping and said unto Kepha, Shimon, Do you sleep? Could not you watch one hour? Watch ye and pray, lest ye enter into temptation. The Ruach truly is ready, but the flesh is weak. And again he went away and prayed and spoke the same words. And when he returned, he found them asleep again, for their eyes were heavy. Neither knew they what to answer him. And he came the third time and said unto them, Sleep on now and take your rest. It is enough. The hour is come. Behold, the son of Adam is betrayed into the hands of sinners. Rise up, let us go. Lo, he that betrays me is at hand. And immediately while he yet spoke, came Yahuda, one of the twelve, and with him a great multitude with swords and staves from the chief priests and the scribes and the elders. And he that betrayed him had given them a sign, saying, Whomsoever I shall kiss, that same is he. Take him and lead him away safely. And as soon as he was come, he goes straightway to him and said, Rabbi, Rabbi, and kissed him. And they laid their hands on him and took him. And one of them that stood by drew a sword and smote a servant of the high priest and cut off his ear. And Yahusha answered and said unto them, Are ye come out as against a thief with swords and with staves to take me? I was daily with you in the temple teaching, and ye took me not. But the scriptures must be fulfilled. And they all forsook him and fled. And there followed him a certain young man, having a linen cloth cast about his naked body. And the young men laid hold on him. And he left the linen cloth and fled from them naked. And they led Yahusha away to the high priest. And with him were assembled all the chief priests and the elders and the scribes. And Kepha followed him afar off, even in, into the palace of the high priest. And he sat with the servants and warmed himself at the fire. And the chief priests and all the council sought for witness against Yahusha to put him to death and found none. For many bore false witness against him, 
but their witness agreed not together. And there arose certain and bore false witness against him, saying, We heard him say, I will destroy this temple that is made with hands, and within three days I will build another made without hands. But neither so did their witness agree together. And the high priest stood up in the midst and asked Yahusha, saying, Answer you nothing. What is it which these witness against you? But he held his peace and answered nothing. Again the high priest asked him and said unto him, Are you Hamashiach, the son of the blessed? And Yahusha said, I am. And ye shall see the son of Adam sitting on the right hand of power and coming in the clouds of heaven. Then the high priest rent his clothes and said, What need we any further witnesses? Ye have heard the blasphemy. What think ye? And they all condemned him to be guilty of death. And some began to spit on him, and to cover his face, and to buffet him, and to say unto him, Prophesy! And the servants did strike him with the palms of their hands. And as Kepha was beneath in the palace, there came one of the maids of the high priest. And when he saw Kepha warming himself, she looked upon him and said, And you also were with Yahusha the Netzari. But he denied, saying, I know not, neither understand what I, I what say you. And he went out eth into the porch, and the cock crew. And the maid saw him again, and began to say to them that stood by, This is one of them. And he denied it again. And a little after they stood by, rather they that stood by, said again to Kepha, Surely you are one of them, for you are a Galilee, and your speech agrees thereto. But he began to curse and to swear, saying, I know not this man of whom ye speak. And the second time the cock crew, and Kepha called to mind the word that Yahusha said unto him, Before the cock crow twice, you shall deny me thrice. And when he thought thereon, he wept.